So today we are playing with Closer Charles. I did have him on a stronger, slower build, but that was not really my jam. Now we made him super freaking fast. I think we're going to have some fun. Let's go. Now you may be confused as to what I'm trying to do here, but honestly, I am not sure what I'm doing either. But the plan is for my Charles to go first, he will push up the c -Dom. the c -Dom will push up the Landy, the Landy will S3, Sobern S3 again, and Charles will close it out. So let's go, this should work just as planned, except when it doesn't work just as planned. We'll just hope for the best though, can we hit that Violet? I think that is the most important thing, is that I hit that stupid uh, Violet. Okay, double counters, and they all hit me because my evasion buff means nothing at all. So now let's S3 here with the CDOM. Who do I want to go on? I think I have to kill everybody, right? That is the only chance I can win this. So I'm going to go on to A-Ravi. I will not soul burn because I want my Landy to get the soul burn. That was a kill, so that pushed up my Charles. Uh, she will soul burn. Does she need to soul burn? I do not think so, but I want to because I need as many hits as I can on that Violet. Yeah? That's a kill. Dude, he didn't even need to close it out. Oh, wait, he does need to close it out. But he... Oh, is he going to move? Oh, dear God. And he gabbed, dude. I do not think it matters if he misses, right? He will kill. Dude, of course. Look at that. 15k. Closed, baby. All right, so the next match here, even though I am going to get outsped, I don't think anything bad will happen. My... Everybody here is pretty tanky, and the only DPS he has is this, uh, what, what's his, what's her face? I don't remember. Uh, A. Coley. And there's no way she's killing my stupid what's her face anyways. So, I think we're super duper safe, right? I'm going to say we're super duper safe. The only chance of something going bad is if this, uh, stupid girl defense breaks me. So I'm just gonna stun her. I'm gonna waste this S3 on stunning this blue-haired girl. What's it? Cerise. Yeah, that's her name. Cerise. We're gonna just get S3 straight up and murder this girl because she's the only one that can defense break. And if she defense breaks me, that's the only chance I have of dying. Of course, she's gonna get rezzed anyways, but uh, that's fine, right? Wow, that's a lot of damage. Am I in trouble? I think I'm in trouble, actually. I have to hope Tenebria hits her. That's my only chance of living, is if Tenebria somehow kills that stupid A Coley. Um, please, RNG, hit that Coley. Don't hit stupid Cerise. Of course you do. Garbage. Okay, well, at least she has a res, right? Does she have a second chance of living? I do not think so, unless you get the push here. You need to get the push. Oh, that, that didn't make a difference, though. Uh, don't defense break. Okay. Uh, is she gonna die? Uh, she died anyways. Can you not be stealth for like two seconds here? Just a few seconds of you not being stealth would be very helpful. But she's gonna die, right? Of course, you don't die. Let's go for her again. Because she has a dual attack. Can you hit that freaking Coley, dude? <laughs> like, uh, come on. It sucks we lost Maid Chloe, but uh, that's fine, right? Because they're they're dead right here. They're super dead. Yeah, dude. So, yeah. We're good. We're good. Um, Luna, don't die. Okay, well, at least Tenebria lived? Yeah, she lived. Okay, dude. That was a, a little spicy. But uh, we got through it. And that is all that matters in the end, right? We gotta win. We had to make some sacrifices, but it's okay. Alright, so we are gonna roll with the same comp again. We're gonna see if we can pull it off twice in a row. Let's start this out with an S3 and see if we can pull another freaking victory out of our stupid buttholes. We are going to hopefully do some good damage here. He did gab. Um, that is a very good damage. This Vivian got freaking wrecked. So we are going to S3 with the C Dom. And then we're gonna pop something. We are going to go for... I think the Ravi might be the best choice. Nah, probably not. Let's actually go for the Crow. I think killing Crow is more important because if I do not kill Ravi, uh, she is going to go for the... What's his What's his face? Instead, uh, the... the, the um... Ravi's gonna hit Landy, okay? Ravi won't hit Charles, and I care about Charles more than anything else because, you know, we kind of need him to be alive, right? So that's gonna push the Charles. We got another hit. We are going to go for the Charles. Let's kill the Charles, and then... Uh, not the Charles. <laughs> the freaking Crow. Let's... Hopefully we can kill the Crow, right? Okay. Let's see if he can finish off the freaking Ravi right here. He ha does have greater attack buff and freaking everything in the world. Let's see this damage. 8k. Uh, that's not that great. Wow! That's so much damage. Why are you so strong, dude? We are gonna be in trouble, right? We're. I think we're in trouble because Charles's evasion doesn't freaking work. Uh, so she can't counter this, which is good. I have to hope that it actually crits her. That's a miss. Um, my Charles is not going to kill. If she counters, my Charles will die. And I, I really don't want him to die. Please kill. That's... 
No! That's a miss on Charles, though. There's no way he lives, right? Yeah, there's no way he lives. Or anybody. Jesus, this freaking Ravi. All right, unfortunate, but we saved everybody, so we're good. We're, we're, we're fine. <laughs> now, I do run into this comp a lot, and this is my favorite comp to counter it. Usually, you do run into a Landy instead of the Arby, so I do take a Sermia, but because it is an Arby instead of a Landy, I'm taking a Tomoka. So, we open up with the S3. Um, it should strip everything, because what you want to do is you want to get rid of the, uh, the FCC shield. That is the most important thing to get rid of. And when there is a landy, you also need to get rid of that stealth so you can hit her. So now we're going to S2 and we're going to S3 into the RB. Um, as long as it's not a degen RB, he will die. And as long as I crit. So dude, Tomoka, do not let me down. Do not let me down, girl. Okay, um, he's dead. And then we're going to S2 into this, uh, what's her face? As long as she does not moonlight Dreamblade, she will also die. And as long as I Uberius, right? Uberius, I didn't even need it. She was not on Aureus. And I, was she on Adamant Shield? She was on, there was no uh, sort of damage mitigation on that uh, what's-her-face. So usually there is a damage mitigation. That is why you need the extra proc from the Uberius to get the kill on that uh, T-Surin. However, that is not the case this round. So I am wondering what artifact she's on. Is there a way for me to see now? Usually when I fight this, I'm not able to kill her without the Uberius proc. Now I don't think every FCC I fight is on an Aureus. Um, usually people have it on Adamant Shield, but then I was also told that the Adamant Shield does not calculate in the reducing the damage. So I am really confused now. But anyways, it worked. We won. We're good to go. Now, as you can see, my Charles is not moving first here, but it's fine because I turned him into a pure freaking monster. What was supposed to happen here is that my ML Ken was supposed to counter, take the ML Ball down below 30%, and my Charles would have gotten the next turn. But because of how RNG works, he did get Abyssal Stun. So that kind of just ruined everything. But that's okay because my Elena move, my Elena will cast Invincibility on everybody. So now when uh, Tywin moves, my ML Ken will counter him. And then uh, someone will get down below 30, right? At some point, right? Unless just nobody crits, which, you know, could totally happen as well. Okay, he... Is this really... Is this really how the game works? Is this, is this really how it works? At least I'm invincible, because... Dude, what the crap, right? We are just gonna straight up S3. Right? We're gonna S3. We're gonna defense break everybody. I mean, nobody, because uh, there's an A time in there. <laughs> but it's okay. As long as my Charles lives, right? Uh, counter, so that should take him down and murder him but my charles is still not gonna move because he's not that fast he gets provoked come on man don't stun my and what charles tried he tried okay he's gonna get to move ken don't kill him don't kill him don't kill him okay charles <laughs> we're just gonna ask one here we do have all perception everything with the attack well let's see what this can do to this freaking guy all right uh the damage is uh, decent Ah, not bad. It was a tank, so it's not too bad. Alright, so we got Evasion, Evasion, and a Crow. I got Speed Waifu, Speed Waifu, Speed Waifu. We're gonna make it happen. Alright, let's Soul Burn S3 into this guy. Will he Moonlight Dreamblade me? Considering last round, he might. He might, right? No Moonlight Dreamblade. Okay, we landed the curse. Let's throw it all into him. Because he has the curse, he will keep taking damage when I'm hitting these fools. Uh, my Tomoka is on Symbol of Unity as well. So, we have a 30-ish percent, maybe? I don't know what the percentage, but uh, we're hitting him. We hit him. Okay, then. Uh, that's very unfortunate for you, guy. Can we hit the crowd? <laughs> that's a real question. Are we gonna hit the crowd, too? Just give it to me, dude. Just give it to me. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> but it's okay. There is no way we can lose this, right? Should I have said that? I think I was a little safe to say that, right? It doesn't matter, dude. It doesn't matter. Oh, you're dead now. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't too bad at all. Now, we do have Charles back on his speed set because I want to try some weird arena cleaves, okay? Charles did gab too, so this is going to be pretty awesome, yeah? Let's see this damage as well, right? Well, let's freaking go. Let's let's make this happen, right? That's that's a lot of damage. Now, we got C down moving. She's going to push the RB. Usually, I would want landing move first, but my RB is faster than my landy. So, uh, this is just what's happening. I can't control it. Let's hit uh, Sinjelica because I don't want her alive. He gabbed as well. Do we just soul burn this? Does it? Does landy need the soul burn? I don't think so. I don't think landy is even going to move. Okay, so that, uh, that worked too well. Uh, let's try again. Alright, so we are going into a tougher team this time because there's an FCC and there's also a Rem who could potentially just ruin everything because of Rem could just counter and kill everybody just straight up because that's kind of what she does, right? 
Uh, anyways, we got the push on the C Dom. The C Dom is going to S3. Who do we want to hit? I think our best bet is to hit into this um Rem. Because I think Rem is the scariest target here. So let's do that. Let's not soul burn it because we want to save the soul burn for the landy. So we're going to S soul burn S3 here. We're going to push up and then we're going to S3 again. And then my RB will move and hopefully he will be able to do some freaking work, right? Uh, so we did... Oh, there was not enough. Um, Who do I kill? Who do I kill? Who do I kill? Let's go for the landy. I think the landy is the spookiest one because everybody else is going to die when the RB moves. And of course, RB gabs, right? What a monster, dude. There we go. Everybody's freaking dead. All right, so let's go for it again, but this time it is against a super duper tanky team. But let's see what we can do. We're going to open up with the S3 again. It's going to be the same combo. We just have to hope to be able to break through all the freaking defenses and get a kill. Uh, we're going to S3 here. Who do we want to hit? Uh, maybe the this uh, this uh, dragon girl, dragon girl. Let's just hit into the dragon girl. And then RB is going to move. RB gabbed. I cannot burn here because I need my burn for my freaking landy. So let's just S3 normally here. Hopefully we can get some good damage down. That's pretty good damage. We will burn here with the landy S3. And because she did not have full fighting spirit, she will have it now. And we can S3 again for some huge damage. We just need to kill the Alencia and we're good to go, right? There's no way this uh, Rowana and the uh, CC kill me. Although they are pretty tanky, right? They are pretty tanky. But Charles will close it out right here. Bam. <laughs> the damage is okay. He he can... I can't speak. Considering how fast he is, that's pretty decent damage, right? Pretty decent damage. This should finish her off, though. Yeah. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. So I'm still not the hugest fan of Charles, but he is pretty fun if you find a creative way to play with him. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for hanging out with us, and I'll see you guys next time, man. Bye.